Hi guys, welcome back to the news. The constitution is clear on what should happen if the court orders a rerun. Barrister Eluchi, as the nation continues to monitor the proceedings at the ongoing presidential elections petitions tribunal, currently sitting in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Abuja, a renowned lawyer who is also a public affairs commentator, Barrister Eze Eluche, has come out to insist that the Constitution has made adequate provisions for what should take place if the court eventually nullifies the February 25th, uh, 2023 presidential election and orders for a rerun. Reports currently making the rounds in the country's social media space indicate that while addressing the Labour Party members in an online meeting on Monday, the national chairman of the party, Barrister Julius Abure, alleged that the APC had begun making preparations for a possible rerun based on uh, preparations for a possible rerun based on the you know the amount of evidence tendered by the petitioners against the ruling party and its flag bearer at the tribunal while reacting to the report during an interview on the voice of the people fm on tuesday afternoon eluchi pointed out that in the event of the court asking the sitting apc president and his vice to vacate their respective seats at the also rock by ordering an election rerun. The constitution clearly states that the Senate president will preside over the affairs of the country on an interim basis until fresh presidential elections are conducted and a winner is declared. Now he said, well, if the court should order a rerun, the constitution is clear on what should happen what will happen is that the senate president assumes the seat of presidency because the court would have to order mr president and his vice to step out of office and the next in line in the order of authority in the country is and the and the order of authority in the country is the senate president this means that should such a scenario play out then Senator Pabio would be told to step into the office of the president in acting capacity while INEC conducts a fresh election in the country. Now, recently, there have been several talks on a presidential election rerun. There have been several talks online. People are talking about this election rerun, election rerun, here and there. The Labour Party, they brought about this issue when they said, see, they have to start preparing. They urged their supporters to hasten up and, you know, stand on guard so that they won't be taken on a ways. That the All Progressive Congress have already started preparing for the presidential rerun election. That's why the Labour Party had urged its members that they should be on guard. Now, my country people, a very renowned lawyer, uh, a barrister, have made it known that, see, if this is eventually going to happen, or if this will take place, then Senator Goswin Fabio, who is the Senate president, will have to take over governance from Tinibu until the matter is settled, until a winner is declared. Then we can forge ahead. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Nigerians have reacted. I don't think that Tinibu and APC will be on the ballot. It will be a clean cruise for OB. I, however, feel the court may be very professional and mature to employ that the 25% Abuja Street conditionality as a technicality to award victory to the Labour Party, Peter Obi. With the current situation Nigeria is facing with the hardship, the increment of uh, fuel prices, Tinibu will not even get 10% in Abuja. 
they would redraw his certificate of return from him. Now, well, as it seems now, there should be no rerun of election. The situation does not call for that. The genuine result is right there in the cloud. That's where the that and that is where cloud com, computing is important. Peter Obi should have been able to prove to the world that he won the election and exposed all INEC manipulations to the world so that they can declare him the winner. Well, this man should come and show us what he's talking about. The INEC chairman would be made to conduct the rerun. Is it the same INEC chairman, Mamo Yakubu, that would conduct the rerun? You all obedience should have shame for once in your life. Nobody can indicate to the judges of what to judge. No rerun anywhere. Tinibu is the president of Nigeria. There can't be a rerun when there is already a winner. The court should desist from any act that would give Tinibu a soft landing. Who is conducting the rerun and under which government? There are so many questions to answer. Well, Tinibu out of there against all odds. If Bola Tinibu will not play another dirty game as he used to play the game, Bola Tinibu always full of the bad game with bribing and corruption. Well, my country people, these are reactions from Nigerians. Well, I guess uh, this renowned lawyer, this barrister have made it known. He has given his own option so that, see, if the constitution should go ahead and say okay, or if the court should go ahead and say okay, there should be a rerun, then the affairs of the nation would be presided by uh, Senator Goswe Apabio, who is the Senate president, and others. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.